G'day folks. Oh, I've just been tinkering around on a Monday afternoon and thought I'd give you a bit of an update on the TV. Uh, I found this big DC grain silo here is bulging and very overheated looking I guess you'd say. It's gotten hot at one point and probably not too happy. So I ordered one of them and a bunch of other caps to recap the power supply for starters. Um, it's only like $12 worth of parts including the big DC one so or the big uh, big electrolytic um, yeah it should come up alright I hope <laughs> famous last words yeah I've got to go over these boards and just see what's good and what's not I'll start with the power supply at least see if that's doing what it's supposed to be doing it does just seem like the power supply is shutting down and meet while it's trying to start up and that might have something to do with it so I'll pull that out and test and ch replace everything else. I've got a bag of uh, 1500 microfarad 10 volt caps. That's a 1500 200 volt. Um, most of the other caps I've already got in stock, so it'd be pretty easy to recap this whole thing for under 20 bucks. Overall, well, yeah, not going to go too crazy with it. The customer doesn't want have to pay me 150 200 dollars worth of labour just to fix it. Not that I'll charge him that much, but you got to draw the line somewhere. Um, what is that? Is that a thermal sensor? It is too. Yeah, it's a temperature sensor. Looks like there's another one there, another one down there near the heat sinks. It's got a network of um, thermo sensors in it. It doesn't seem to be throwing up a code though, so I don't know if it's a thermal sensing issue or a power supply issue, but that big cap's definitely got to go. Anyway, also, uh, I sort of parked out the front of Retrovision today just to go to the bank and just for the hell of it I thought I'd walk in there and just ask if they have any dead TVs out back. Sure enough they had one in the store. Uh, it's a Hitachi 32 inch plasma. It's the first time I've seen one this small ever. Or oh, maybe in a store but I've never found one on the side of the road or in the junk pile or anything. It's the smallest plasma I've ever seen. Um, people did say they made 32 or 38 inch panels but they're much rarer for, than the 42, so I'm be guessing cost-wise it was better to get a 42 than a 32. You'd only use this in a confined, if you've got a smaller living room or a small cabinet. But, yeah, as you can see, it's got a bit of a problem. It does work, the picture and everything comes up, but it just uh, has that slight little... Uh, what is the tuner issue? It was displaying a uh, static signal, but if we go to menu instead, yeah, it shows across all menus and all inputs. Um, it seems to be the panel, maybe the panel edge drivers, the chip on film or the little resistors next to them. Uh, maybe the little driver boards along the bottom, which is, well, that's where the chip on film things are. Nowhere near as bad as the LG, which just had everything dropping out all over the place. And as soon as I poke the back board, everything changes. This one doesn't seem to be quite as bad, but it doesn't go away either. They've tried running it for a while, they tried changing the focus and the aspect ratio and everything to see if that had faded away, but nothing worked. But I guess it wouldn't if it's in the panel. Uh, this one's a model 32PD5000. So it's like a miniature version of the one that Mum gave me a few years ago. She had an original 42 inch uh, Hitachi. Which has been a very good TV. It's lasted about eight or nine years now without problems. Oh, actually, no. It had a new panel fitted under warranty a few years after she got it. The panel did similar to this, except it was just a dead bar down the middle that would come and go. I uh, later found out, recently found out, that that's due to little SMD resistors down here. And you can resolder them and fix it, but they replaced it under warranty anyway, so it was no big deal. We just didn't have a TV for a while. But, uh, yeah... This one might be a similar problem, maybe it's an inherent problem with Hitachi panels, but yeah, either way it's a nice size, it'd make a nice little uh, living room TV. And that one there, well, hell if I fix that I'm sure he'd be happy to have that in the garage anyway, I'd probably junk that one and sell this to him for 50, 100 bucks. I mean, mind you it was given to me as an autopsy thing, but I don't think they really cared what I did with it, he said I could fix it. So yeah. We'll work something out. I've got enough other plasmas floating around. Only reason I didn't replace this cap with a second hand one, just to test it, was uh, well, I didn't have one the correct um, the correct rating and uh, 
or microfarad rating, which probably doesn't matter. I mean, a big DC tank like that, would it really matter if it's like another 200 microfarad over what it is? In theory, it shouldn't. And that, and if it was going to leave it in there, I can only fit a 35mm high cap in here before it hits the back panel. This one's 32mm. Uh, and unfortunately, the only ones I had were 40 or 45mm, so they'd hit, hit the back cover. You wouldn't be able to get the back cover on. So I had to water one from RS. Not a big deal. Anyway, I'm going to uh, play around with this a little bit more. And, uh, or maybe not, nah. I'll put this aside and we'll look at this during my little week-long holiday. I want to get that photocopier out of here in pieces. That might be tonight's autopsy. We'll do that little multifunction centre. And I'll get some opinions from you, the viewers, who are always gladly helping me. Um, what do you think this problem is? And if nobody knows, we'll soon find out. <laughs> and I'll pull it to pieces. Because right now, with the lines running through it, it'd make a nice security monitor. But I don't think I could bear to sit there and watch, the, watch it as a TV. It just seems to be a bit, you know, a bit too funky. If it was one little line over to the side, I wouldn't mind, but that's kind of obvious. So, yep, might work, might not. Anywho, that's all for tonight, and uh, stay tuned for at least part of a photocopy or autopsy, depending how much I get uploaded tonight. And that's the thing, I still haven't been able to work, work out how to upload faster. I think it's just to do with local servers and things. Anyway, thank you all for watching.